has happened to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. That's what we're going to try to talk about today and figure out. I definitely didn't just record a solid five plus minutes of voiceover and for some odd reason my audio just wasn't recording. So we're just gonna, you know, not talk about that. Also, while we're doing that, we are going to be unlocking gold on the Chimera assault rifle, right? This is an assault rifle. I need to unlock Bioluminescent and I thought to myself, what's a great way of making progress on camo while I talk about some topics that I've been sitting on for a while. Another thing that I want to mention, I don't want to create a huge argument. One thing that I did was recently make videos whenever there was a new update and i complained about the game and i said some stuff where i was like it's pretty meh and one of the most common comments that i received which really surprised me was the fact that people really do like this game and i do understand that and i share a different opinion than some of you who will watch this video a lot of you would probably agree with some of the topics that I'll be covering, but a lot of you will probably also disagree, and that's completely okay. I just want to quickly dissect what, in my opinion, is the issue with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and just kind of go over some of the stuff, as I said, that I've had in the back of my head. If you're also wondering what, like, camo challenges I have to do, for some odd reason, if you're you know like curious what we got to do i have made some progress because of my issue with recording uh it is 250 kills i've definitely made really good progress on that and 30 hellhound kills 200 critical kills and 250 toxic damage kills right now i need to go pack a bunch of my weapon but going back to zombies first thing is first we kind of already know what kind of content we are going to be receiving for the next few seasons by that i mean the remainder of the seasons we are currently nearing season three reloaded i do believe and that means we will have season four and five and potentially six uh, i don't know the situation with season six main reason is because we do know that from the rumors again odd 2024 gulf war is not only going to be announced in june which is super early but also it's supposed to be releasing in october because of how prepared that game is so that's why we might not be seeing season six just so that they can drop probably like season one in november basically everything is ahead of schedule but anything can change so at least till season five we definitely know that season five will be happening we are going to be receiving literally almost the exact same content we have been seeing so season three reloaded we know we'll be bringing in a brand new human enemy into the map also on top of this we are getting a brand new dark ether location and the continuation of the story which i need to say i understand what treyarch or call of duty whoever is taking care of it now is attempting to do i completely understand i'm gonna give them that card because i don't really want it I completely understand. There's a difference between doing what they're doing now and doing what they did in the past games. Because from the way I'm taking it is the reason they're giving us these kind of like updates with Easter egg every season, which is pretty cool. The issue with that is in the past when they used to do that with Call of Duties felt different because it was brand new maps and brand new experiences. Here, what they do is they give us the option of hopping into a map that we've been playing since November, early November, may I add. On top of that, they make us go into a Dark Ether location, which is a map that if you haven't played a lot of Warzone or DMZ in the past, we've already had a lot of experiences on. Personally, I have, so it doesn't feel super fresh. It's kind of cool to see it in purple and blue, but it doesn't like shock me. But also, you're giving us the exact same almost easter egg steps each time. Get said thing, upgrade it, come back. In the past, we've seen like zombies maps kind of have the same formula. But again, the difference is it's a different location, different experience. Even if we look back on Outbreak, which let's be honest, Cold War Zombies Outbreak was really rushed from what we know, or at least Cold War Zombies overall. And even in that, they managed to give us a completely different Easter egg with even a boss fight at the end. And that was like Orda. I'm not talking about Legion right now. That's the first Easter egg. Orda was the second Easter egg, the one where you have to like save Raptor 1 or well, Raptor 1 gets captured essentially so that's what i'm talking about that's the issue that i have with it we're getting new content the first time we got it in season one i was beyond seeing wow they're actually giving us a lot of stuff and then we had the red worm yeah it's just a reimagination of the same boss fight we have inside of the game but i'll take it i think it was really cool i haven't done it myself all that much because i'm alone and i don't have it in me to fight it on myself because i'm scared it'll kill me 
I'm, I'm just, I, I, we're not going to talk about it. So, like, stuff like that, I was always fascinated in season one. That I was like, wow, so much. And then season one reloaded, gave us nothing. And I was like, oh, I mean, it's all right, I guess. Let's see what happens in season two. Season two gave us nothing until season two reloaded. Mobile season two reloaded, the same thing. Okay, weird. But let's see where this goes with season three. Season three, nothing. Season three reloaded though. Same thing like we saw at the beginning of season one and season two reloaded. Yes, it might be content, but just because you stoop so low to be like, at least it's something, it's a bit disappointing. Even I myself, who is like, at least it's something, I think getting something better, we, we deserve that, at least with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I'm a bit sad because we know that we're going to be getting that for season four and probably for season five. And again, if season six happens, it's the same thing. It's going to be the exact same thing over and over. Now, I'm not going to just say that that's the only content we get. We get challenges here and there. We get brand new weapons, which is cool, but that's nothing new to zombies. And, you know, camel grinding isn't for everyone. I love it, but, you know, I, I, I kind of don't want to do it constantly. I don't want to, like, just non-stop do camel grinding 24-7. And also, some stuff that we do know that's going to be coming out, and I'm just going off of most of this stuff from Margua on Twitter. I will be leaving all of, like, the accounts, I guess, that come out with leaks and stuff down in the description uh we know that we are going to be receiving a bank system inside of the game to keep your points which is something i think we should have had a long time ago if you don't know this isn't again anything new for like call of duty treyarch whatever where they have content inside of the game and they'll release it a very good example is with outbreak on cold war uh the very very early version which had like a completely different name completely different map almost and idea to it they did have the grappler all the way back like an alpha version of the game which some people have had access to and I think it's insane that, you know, we <laughs> we could have had the grappling gun all the way, like, at the start of Outbreak, but they just postponed it to, like, what, Season 5, Season 6, whatever it was. I thought that was just insane that they took so long. Oh, look, 250 kills. That's pretty cool. So we do know that we are going to be receiving some stuff at some point. Like, the stuff they've been dropping secretly on us. Like, supposedly, the exfil thing, where you can exfil and uh, you get to take... Whoa, wait. A stamina back there? What the hell? I just got some stuff. I got like a thing for blade stamina. Whatever. Um, the whole like excellent schematics points. I don't really see a difference. I don't understand that one. Maybe it's not completely working. Or they said they're going to be increasing the stash. Stuff that I I also understand where they were coming from when they were first talking about it. Where they're like, oh, we want the players to feel a struggle of having, you know, too much stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez. No, you don't have to do that. You could have just literally given us the increased stash like a lot you know oh 200 for sure that's not i'm not unlocking camel stuff uh what okay confusing there we go there's a camel the toxic damage one that's good and another thing to mention is apart from the content that we do know kind of that is going to be potentially dropping apart from the obvious rinse and repeat of the same stuff uh treyarch hasn't been working on zombies for a while they only recently officially came out saying that they are not going to be taking care of it uh but from the leaks and rumors which i will trust because it just makes sense to me uh track has not been working on zombies ever since almost the launch of this game because of course they had bigger stuff to worry about and what is that bigger stuff to worry about literally cod 2024 so <laughs> i'm not surprised that they haven't been working on this game this game mode feels very forced and i'll never forget when it first came out there was like those big headlines that it's their best mode ever and it was it was such a good mode i had so much fun i protected it like a little baby when it was first coming out i was like guys give it a chance and i will own up yes i did go on with the game and it was like yeah it's a pretty solid mode and it just slowly slowly but carefully started falling off and i think it's just sad to see what has happened to the game mode. I think seeing it go from this strong beast with so much potential, with so many potential additions to make it even better, nothing has happened. Now, how do I think it could have been improved? I think one of the biggest things is adding a new map. I initially, oh my god, we just unlock all the camels. We just need 100 kills and we're done. I initially thought that this game mode will be getting Rebirth Island fortune keep nope <laughs> we've been sticking to urzikstan and relying on the dark ether to behave as separate maps another thing i was really expecting they'd remove at some point is the timer or increase it 
amount of time you get to play on this almost sometimes feels useless to hop in. I initially thought that when you jump into the game mode, you would be getting the same weapons you had before, the same loadout, the same way it was on DMZ. And I guess since I'm on the topic of DMZ, one thing that I have been pointed out and I didn't know previously, DMZ almost got the same kind of treatment. And this game mode will get the exact same treatment with the like inevitable fate that it will receive. And that is... Once COD 2024 comes out, Gulf War, whatever it's called, this is going to stop, like completely. You're going to be able to hop on and play it, but it is not going to be receiving updates, which is a bit of a surprise because it's not getting many crazy updates in the first place. I don't know what really happened with it. The main thing is, I think it shouldn't have been made. As much as I do like the idea of having zombies, I think I would have preferred waiting till, like, COD 2024 came out because I think that would have given Treyarch way more time to work on their baby, their little Goo Goo Gaga that they've been working on forever now. And I'm so happy for them. I cannot wait for COD 2024. I'm going to be playing that religiously because I know it's going to be good. How could it not be good, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, if games that are pretty meh can be pushed out within a few months of them being worked on i can see Trey cooking up something brilliant for the past four plus years or just four years uh i think i think we're going to be getting something pretty good but as for what exactly has happened to zombies on Modern Warfare 3 i don't know i think you could argue that you're just relying too much on content updates but this is what the game was really made out to be relied on updates clearly it relied on update the idea of having schematics you want more give me more they added that on purpose the idea of having these constant updates that they are already releasing you're still inclined to be like but i want more give me more give me more and yes that is bad i will be patient with the next update like i can't wait till reloaded but what you're giving me after waiting so long is just underwhelming that's the perfect description. It's just underwhelming. What the hell did I just unlock? It's just underwhelming. That's that's kind of the conclusion. How will this game mode go down in history? It will go down as, oh yeah, kind of forgot that happened. That's the way I'm going to see it. Because it just is one of those modes that I'm like, oh my god, yeah, there's Modern Warfare Zombies. I should probably go play it to make a video on it. I haven't been uploading all that much. Why? Well... Because I am in my final year of college and it is getting a bit intense. But the main reason is just how this mode goes. And another really great way of seeing how kind of like in a way it isn't going very strong is the kind of YouTube content that is being made out of it. The main YouTube content that I see most of the time, and I'm not going to argue like that there is no other content. I just don't get it recommended or see it. And that is mainly two things. How to unlock schematics and what is the best weapon inside the game. One thing I will tell you is a lot of YouTubers claim a lot of new weapons every single day are brand new overpowered weapon. Or a lot of content creators upload the exact same thing of this is how you can unlock this schematic. Hop into zombies doing this. Which is a very normal thing in zombies. But seeing that that's the only content that some content creators out there are constantly posting is just kind of like, damn. Even I on Cold War Zombies could come up with some other stuff. But on here, I don't even want to stoop that low. I don't even want to upload something like that. I'm not saying anything bad on the content creators. I know how this sounds. I know it sounds like as if I'm going after them. No, I'm saying that that's like literally the only content you can make clearly because either people are lacking creativity like myself or it's just the only thing that works because it's the only thing that people want to watch and comparing it to past zombies experiences at least there was some fresher stuff that you could have made more, more fascinating stuff at times but then again looking back at my history of cold war zombies i really did make almost the exact same thing every single time so at the end of the day with this video did I say anything super, super useful? Not really. Will these videos, if I upload just a conversation topic, be something super insightful? Hell no. Did you watch the entire video and come here this far into it and find out that I just yapped for a very long time? Do I appreciate you watching it? Of course. Like, seriously, thank you if you did watch this far. And if you have any topics that you would like to, me to cover, if it's Call of Duty related or Zombies related, that I can just yap while I unlock camos, comment down below. I would love to just hear what some of you have to say, some of the topics you find interesting, because there's a lot of stuff currently happening inside of Zombies, like, that I find very- What? Did I just unlock a animated camo? I'm unlocking so much stuff in this game mode. Or, well, game mode? This game. Match. Words. 
Yeah. And also, I guess if you have watched this far into the video, I upload on a second channel, if you're wondering. Like right now, I'm kind of pumping out content at a very slow pace on a second channel. Why? Because I have many ideas, but I can't explore those ideas on the Philly Z, Philly D's Nuts channel. Just because this is a zombies channel, Call of Duty channel, and I don't want to change that. I've tried it multiple times, and I always end up coming back to zombies. So let's just keep it to that on here. Anyway, I'm going to go exfil, and let's see if we unlocked gold. There it is. That actually looks really good. Wow. Goddamn. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Come on, I can get it. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that shit. There we go. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys there. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Peace out. Okay, I said, for this, smooch, because why not?